Yeah, this is EKNS 4524D. D is for digital. So you have a uh, screen up here where you can save programs, recipes. The keypad is on the right here. So by hitting load, I can load a program in here. I only have one loaded, so we'll hit enter. And you can see here we got the uh, search. Power, time, and force settings for bond one. We'll step through that. And we have bond two, loop tail ball is included. And here we have mode, we can change that. By hitting the plus sign, you can do ball bumping with this machine. And you can also do single point tap. But I'll leave it here set up at uh, standard. And you can also do stitch by adding additional bonds up here. You can do stitch bonding. Well, for now, I'm just going to demonstrate it in standard mode. I just want to point out that this is set up for deep access. You can see that the uh, capillary here is uh, 0.625 in length. We have a heated work stage here and it's set for 150 degrees. And just to show you a few, you got your setup here, your test, that tests your ultrasonics. You have a reset button, clamp open. You can turn the NEF off, which is your neg negative electronic flame off. You can turn that off. And you have a manual spark. And your light, I'll shut the light off here and I just want to show you that there is also a spotlight. It's a little red, uh, a little hard to see from now. we got the little red dot crosshair. And it'll mark where the uh, bond is going to be made, replaced. So I'll just go ahead, oh, just one other thing here. You have a manual switch here, so if you switch it to manual, you have your manual lever here, and you can move your bond head up and down manually. Lever. Yeah, I'll turn the light back on. But for now, I'll just do a semi automatic mode, and that in entails using the chessman. Move the chessman around to position your work, and using the right button, you're going to press and hold. At this point, you're at search one. That's adjustable with your search height adjustments here on the uh, keypad. Let me just look into the microscope and I'll perform a bomb. Okay, now we're at loop. Again, that's adjustable using your loop setting here. I'll step back, press the right button again. We're at search two. It creates bond two leaves the tail and the EFL wand fires across and you create a ball for your next bond. So again, I'll do a couple of bonds here in semi-automatic mode. Search one, bond one, now we're at loop. Search two, bond two and a ball is formed. What I'll do is I'll switch over to manual mode here and I'll do a couple of manual bonds by using the lever here on the right and here I'll just manually bring it down until the bond is made step back And what I'll do is I'll switch over to ball bonding and just to uh, demonstrate the ball bonding capability. So we're going to switch over to ball bumping. And I'll hit the plus and then I'll hit enter. I'll just step back to the first page. There it is. So here it's asking if the new mode is selected. Hit enter to confirm. I'm just going to re reinitialize the machine and set it up for ball bumping. And you 
you can see there's only one bond here, and that's the ball bump that's going to be left. And I'll do a couple of those, and I'm going to take it out of manual mode, and I'll do them in semi-automatic mode. And here it just leaves the ball, the gold ball, on the surface. You see there is no second bond. to let you know we have a two inch old wire spool one mil wire now it's fed through this glass feed tube here and there's a little glass plate here that's the tensioner bring the wire down through here first and you put the plate on top through the little uh, eyelet here down through your drag clamp down the bottom here here's the drag clamp See as I open the clamps, it will open and close. Put your dry clamp here, your wire clamp here, and then down through your capillary.